kidnap her? Me? No way! I'm not into such petty crimes. Nope, I'm after something much, much bigger! Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry about that. Ahem. <clears throat> Even in the depths of night, when no one other bird dares to take flight, one alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me. Okay, but my real name is Kay Ferrarde. You can call me Kay, Kay. Good, glad that's settled. Hmm, I wonder, should I remove them? I was actually having a lot of fun watching you make those silly faces. Hey, there's no need to get mad and all icy glare on me, you know. This rope goes through here, and there, and there you go. You doubt me? I get it. You think that I'm a young lady like me can possibly be a big-time thief, right? What? Of course I'd mind. I haven't stolen anything yet. Seriously, I don't know how you can say such a horrible thing to your savior. Nope, don't worry. I've got some big plans in the works. I knew it. There's just no reasoning with a prosecutor. So, you never told me about what your name was, Mr. Prosecutor. Aha! Now I remember now. All right then, Mr. Edgeworth, let's get out of here. <clears throat> You're still being mean to Gummy. Don't tell me, Gummy, that you lied for my sake. Gummy, you lied because of me, didn't you? Gummy! I was thinking about sharing a snack with Daddy, so I wanted to buy a swish roll, but I only have about a dollar in coins. But I was worried about breaking one of my promises. So then Gummy said he told me to be okay, and he gave me a whole roll to save and give to Daddy. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Just make sure you give it to Gummy after it's okay. But we've been kicked out of the crime scene, sir. Looks like my life has fallen into yet another gigantic ditch. Um, I've got something to say. Yeah, um, oh, I'm Cammy Meal. I'm a flight attendant. Well, I think your story's a little different from how I remember it. I saw Mr. Hex sitting in his seat at 5 a.m., you know. Huh, that's weird. Well, I just talked to the captain, see, and he said that he didn't give you permission to do anything like that at all. It means she's lying. Go on, admit that you are. You said you had permission to search a lover, but you don't, and yet here you are. Oh, but don't worry. I already got permission to search the shop for the captain. See, unlike you, I do things the right way. Looks like I get to be in charge now. Please go back to your seat, Mr. Leblanc. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you would follow me, I'll be your guide from now on. You... you stole the victim's wallet, didn't you? You said it yourself. You claimed to be holding this wallet in your hands when I found you. As you claim, the murder weapon is not in the travel wallet. However, it is something you stole from Mr. Hicks after you're done with this vile deed. I find it hard to believe myself, but your motive is quite simple. You are to steal Mr. Hicks' money, weren't you? You stood up at the crime scene with the victim's wallet in your hands. How can I turn a blind eye and not suspect you? W w what are you talking about? I... 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 Forgive me... Please! I... It sounds like Beregrin, but I... I don't understand any of it. There's another attendant on this flight who... You see, isn't it obvious? It could only be the detective. Oh, that's right. I was going to speak with you. Don't you think it's reckless to talk to the suspect and open guard? Well, as someone with more experience in law than you, allow me to share something with you. Always keep a good eye on your client. <laughs> Down, Tigress. Then I'll be looking forward to the results of the investigation. Actually, it proves just the opposite, Edgeworth. You've just shown that Detective Gumshoe is the only one who could have committed the crime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what do we have here? What is a child doing in the courthouse? And we found another suspicious thing in Mr. Cochin's office. Yes, as I said, not one suspicious thing. But we still haven't found the blade that belongs to the Balinese knife. Mr. Edgeworth, long time no see. You still remember me. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Emer Sky. I'm studying to be a scientific investigator abroad. A, gr a great thief? Please don't tease me, Mr. Edgeworth. 
I still have a long way to go. But one day, I'll be looking at crime scenes and scientifically investigating them. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Not. Oh, that's the twelfth one. Now you can't give up, Lauren. Just one more try. I suppose if that were me, then... Yes, I am, but oh, it's not like we both think of each other as lovers. But he did give me this ring, so I guess we're not just friends either. I mean, because this isn't just one ordinary ring. It tastes so sweet, Ian, you like it. Ah, uh, it's so wonderful. My father used to work for Mr. Romano, and so Lance and I grew up together. Ah, uh, I said it out loud. I heard his job was to fly around the world, on Pegasus. Oh, Pegasus is the name of the airplane. The airplane belonged to the company. But now it's all changed. My father isn't around anymore. 